to present the therapy in third was initially shaped by somewhat traditional path. The area started to populate when people from central and southern Italy were moving to the area as it, it was much more affordable than many other areas. And still relatively close to the city center, especially after the yellow train started to operate in the area in the early 1910s, the area quickly became infamous for its illegally built houses and also for the crime rate. During the Second World War, Torbinetta was one of the places bombed in the first bombing of Ramin, uh, June 1943, 11 a.m. Even though it wasn't one of the official targets. Uh, one of the um, still hit um, the Maranello district in the morning. Later during the war, Torpinetara also received some fame for the resistance mo movement against the Nazis or the Nazi occupation. Eventually, the popularity of Torpinetara started to decline and the population started to decline somewhere in the 80s or 90s, and it's, it kept declining for some time. For the last few decades, Torpinetara been attracting immigrants from all over the world, but especially from Bangladesh and China and India. And it has been transforming the district in a very international, multicultural place, perhaps even more than any other district in the city. There seems to be many different terms to describe the phenomenon. One term is a reurbanization used by Alessandro Broccolini and her article Torpinator Bangladesh. But for the sake of the name of this YouTube channel, we should use the term post urbanization. Urbanization is generally used as a term to describe a phase where people are moving or migrating from countryside to other cities. Urbanization is generally used as a term to describe the phase where people are moving or migrating from the countryside to the cities within the country. But this is not something necessarily happening here. The growth of Torpini in the last few decades has become from immigrants. Immigration, not the internal migration, has the hence post urbanization. Also it's not urbanization because the urban area already existed, but it was declining before the latest influx of immigrants. The organ creation of Belgathan has been receiving critical in recent over the years. It is as if something is taken away from the locals, even though many didn't even want to live in the area anymore. Some say that the immigrants should instead integrate into the existing society or the culture instead of creating or bringing their own, which is exactly the opposite of what well, many Italians did in the 19th century and early 20th. 20th century, especially in the US, where at least few places still carry the name Little Italy, officially or in the but regardless, those names still survive.